Hey guys, hello everyone. Welcome to today's session. And uh, as you all know, guys, today we are discussing the 22 days strategy for the term two maths examinations, right? So in this video, we will be discussing that what should be your strategy for the last 22 days, how you should move ahead, and what are the things to be done, to not be done. All right. So let us start the class and. Uh, Let's start with the motivation quote, wake up early and tackle the day before it tackles you, right? So start your day early and face your day before it start messing with you, <laughs> right? Okay, Chal. so let us start with the syllabus first as um, all of you know by now, but uh, <clears throat> let me start with that. So avoid the topics which are out of your syllabus, please don't focus on those topics which are uh, out of your syllabus and focus on the important topics which we have told you throughout the sessions so in algebra you have quadratic equations and arithmetic progression which will be of 10 marks in geometry you have circles and construction which is of 9 marks so this time geometry portion is very easy compared to your term 1 so that's a very good thing trigonometry again the portion is easy with some applications of trigonometry statistics is a direct chapter with the formulas if you practice it you will not lose any marks at all and surface area volume as you know the types of problems are there so where the questions can go difficult would be the topic say i would say quadratic equation or arithmetic progression there the examiner might try to confuse you otherwise geometry is easy this time trigonometry easy statistics easy surface area and volume easy so if you make the algebra strong this full you have very high chances of scoring full marks uh, this is what i i am saying with the analysis because see uh, the first two topics are those topics where you can create difficult questions maybe a tricky one with surface area and volume otherwise circle construction some application of trigonometry statistics they are direct questions will be there and we have discussed enough problems to tackle from these chapters right Chal. so as you all know guys your exams date has been announced so your examination date will be 5th of may and timing will be 10 30 to 12 30 so two hour duration uh, for both standard mathematics as well as the uh, basic mathematics so the pa paper pattern for you so the top one is uh, for the standard maths so there are three sections if you'll see there is section a section b and section c all right section a section b and section c section a will have six ma six questions two marks each total to 12 marks you have got over here section b will have four questions three marks each to uh, each total 12 marks you have got over here and then section c will have four questions four marks each of four fours are 16. Now in this section C, you need to remember guys that there will be two case study questions as well and each case study will be having four questions of one mark each. So two case study questions will be included over here and then there will be uh, in section C there will be two questions of four mark each as well. So the section C will contain two different types of questions. One is of four marks and two case studies as well. Whereas for the basic maths, the paper pattern is very different. Section A 20 questions, one mark each, out of which you have to attempt any 16. You are getting a choice over here. Section B, you will have to attempt 16 questions out of 20 given. And section C here, sorry, section C, 10 questions, two case study, one mark each. So attempt any eight. Clear? So that will be your paper pattern. Clear Abacha? So if you are a standard student, this is the way you need to focus. Basic wale bacho focus on your NCRT. If you are a uh, student who has taken ma basic maths, focus on the NCRT. Forget everything else. NCRT more than enough. And standard ones, NCRT plus previous year question papers or some exemplar. No need to go for RT Sharma, to be very honest. Theke? Do the revision. No need to solve any books at this moment. Whatever questions you have solved till now, revise them. Okay? So, <clears throat> three steps I'm saying so on the very first day given assessment test note down your mistakes and categorize them because by now you may might have uh, completed the topic once so just see given test see what mistakes you are making and then categorize your preparation and plan accordingly that means you get to know that which 
सब विच चैप्टर इज डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू विच चैप्टर इज ईजी फॉर यू एंड अकॉर्डिंगली मेक अ प्लान सो वॉट काइंड ऑफ मिस्टेक्स वेन यू आर गिविंग अ टेस्ट यू शुड मेक अ नोट ऑफ सो मेक अ नोट ऑफ से इफ यू आर मेकिंग एनी कंसेप्चुअल एरर दैट मीन्स यू मेड अ मिस्टेक इन द कॉन्सेप्ट इट सेल्फ एप्लीकेशन ऑफ ट्रिग्नोमेट्री यू नीडेड टू यूज साइन थीटा बट यू यूज कॉस्ट थीटा समथिंग लाइक दैट then logical error logical error means what you may uh, say maybe uh, you did not understood the question clearly question was asking something else and you solved something else so that means you made you did not connect to the logic okay calculation error most common ones and then silly mistakes that means you knew how to solve it you were very confident but in the uh, like in the exam stress or something you made mistake so that silly mistake so try to categorize your mistakes in this category all right and focus on all of them don't be like here a calculation error silly mistake if you are doing it now you will do it in exams as well so be more aware when you are doing any calculations so try to control them and conceptual error logical error obviously the more practice you will do they will start reducing okay now you need to prepare and plan make a plan accordingly so they go uh, your preparation or your plan should be on the three categories if you require considerable improvement when you gave test you were not able to learn anything you were not able to recall anything you scored very poorly so then you will be preparing for considerable improvement you did nicely but you think you can do better then you'll be going for average preparation and if you did really well but still missing one or two points then you'll be making a plan according to this okay so all three i'll tell you okay so average preparation means suppose if you are making say more than four conceptual or logical mistakes if you are making more than four mistakes and total six more than six like two silly mistakes or something overall if you are making more than six uh, like less than six mistakes or something then you have average preparation then conceptual mistakes but three logical errors so all mistakes is between 5 to 6 around 5 to 6 mistakes so here in average preparation uh, you you require six or more mistakes uh, sorry you have made six or more mistakes that means your preparation you need to you are in the average preparation category then if you are making 5 to 6 mistake considerable improvement required and if you don't make any not more than two mistakes then it will be a good preparation so you'll get to know that how your preparation is going on and keep checking yourself whether you are in the average category or you will be improving category or you are in the good preparation category theek hai now what are some thumb rules which means you should definitely follow so keep the syllabus handy always remember your syllabus take care of your health because you will be giving your examinations right uh, make a detailed topic wise division of the syllabus you'll get to know that what and all topics are present over there and you'll just look at the sub topic and you should know the formula for example quadratic equation quadratic formula is a sub topic you should know x equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a like that small notes try to keep yourself healthy avoid accidents obviously keep yourself healthy because you have to give examinations check the weightage of each chapter as topics and given in the syllabus so weightage i have shown you earlier as well keep that in mind daily routine follow karo be very consistent all right do not waste time and very important try to give practice exam every day and uh, as the exam time so that your mind will train your my your mind will train itself to perform best theek okay? hai and uh, uh, like 22 days left guys i would suggest like to all of you uh, please change your routine uh, right try to change your routine uh, if you are someone who studies a lot at night if you are someone who who wakes up in the morning and studies good enough for you but if you are someone who studies at night and sleeps during the morning my advice to you is change your routine now i didn't tell you to do this throughout the year but now is the time to do it because you want your mind you want to train your mind to be active in the examination time and examination will not be conducted in night it will be conducted in morning so now change your routine theek okay? hai this advice i'm telling you uh, you might be thinking ki sir i'll do it one day before but 
don't go for it start doing it now 3 4 days it will take your mind to adjust and then it will be habitual all right so do it now onwards and it will be a very good advice for you all okay exam se pehle ghar wale shuru ho jate bata do pilo beta marks ke liye na tips har koi deta hai इसलिए वेदांत इंप्रूवमेंट प्रॉमिस अब वेदांत मार्क्स बढ़ाने की जिम्मेदारी लेगा वरना आपकी पूरी फीस वापस नाउ अज्यूमिंग दैट एवरीवन हैज कंप्लीटेड योर सिलेबस एट लीस्ट वंस दिस इज व्हाट माय अजम्पशन इज बिकॉज़ ऑब्वियसली 22 डेज अवे फ्रॉम द मैथ्स एग्जामिनेशन एंड दिस मच आई कैन एक्सपेक्ट राइट यू हैड प्री बोर्ड्स यू हैड प्रिपरेशन लीव सो दैट वी हैव डन सो दिस 22 डेज वी विल रफली डिवाइड इन द रेशियो ऑफ 3 टू 7 व्हाट डस 3 टू 7 मींस Three part for something, seven part for something. One more thing, guys. Please don't study maths like this. Sit on a table and a chair, and then follow it. So three to seven may uh, will be uh, see since twenty two days we have. Sorry. So first seven days का plan क्या रहेगा? Seven chapter, seven days each chapter a day. From each chapter try to cover all the topics at least fifteen question from each chapter. Try to complete the NCERT, make notes, formulas. This you might have done already, done already. Okay, uh, previous year question paper you can go ahead like try to solve all the questions and mark any question if there is a difficult question which you were not able to solve, mark that. ठीक है? So note down errors and difficulty while solving questions. ठीक है? Mark those down because that those questions you'll be solving again in the revision. Next for the next 15 days what should be your plan? So next 15 days plan uh, every day one chapter you can do the revision go through small notes uh, one full length complete test for next seven days you can complete say one full length test है ना try to do one full length test in such a way that की um, you you'll get to know that how much marks you are scoring note down your errors for the last seven to eight days give two full length tests with the time limit with the time limit is very important. Uh, give yourself the time limit two hours two hours sit on a table and chair write it don't get disturbed in anything don't go don't get up in between give it as your exam see whether you are able to complete the full paper whether you are able to write correctly or uh, just think of it as examination and then see the uh, do the correction as well all right practice revision after attempting each test revise karna hai go through your mistakes because whatever mistakes you are doing it now If you go through it, you'll get to know your mistakes, and those mistakes will not commit in the examinations. All right? Okay. So noting down errors and recalling them while revising the paper before final submission is the key to self improvement. And this thing you need to do, make a habit of doing it in your exam as well. That if you are finishing early, always check your paper. Very important. Okay. So. Uh, say three categories we have told considerable improvement category average preparation good preparation so ma mark the questions solved in the first seven days from NCERT ठीक है next seven days solve all the unmarked remaining questions whatever you have not solved do that my main point is here कि भी we have changed the speed for here we have just focused on the NCERT if you are one who need more improvement focus on your NCERT first forget everything else एवरेज प्रिपरेशन वाले में बेटा प्रैक्टिस करो मोर एंड मोर प्रैक्टिस प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन एंड सो ऑन गुड कैटेगरी में प्लीज डोंट बी ओवर कॉन्फिडेंट एंड डोंट टेक द सब्जेक्ट लाइटली कीप अटेम्प्टिंग द टेस्ट ठीक है ऑल राइट सो व्हाट आर द थिंग्स यू मस्ट डू बिफोर योर एग्जामिनेशन रिवाइज ऑल द कॉन्सेप्ट गो थ्रू योर नोट्स मार्क इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इन दो क्वेश्चन ओनली यू नीड टू रिवाइज बिफोर नॉट द होल बुक अगेन only those questions which you have marked which were important for you where you made mistakes only those questions you need to do them again um, obviously keep your uh, stationery admit card ready and uh, read the examinations admit uh, instructions in the admit card given carefully that you might have done already right and uh, yeah uh, go through the sample paper which i have already told what you definitely should avoid do not contemplate on the result means do not think too much on the result all right focus on your work result will be in your favor so don't think too much about the result avoid every kind of emotion it does not mean be a robot simple thing is um, avoid those emotions which are harmful for you like getting scared all right um uh, procrastinating so avoid these things 
okay uh, avoid studying in groups why i am saying two days before examination because that time individual study is more important theek hai so avoid studying in group just two days before the examination and obviously forget social media all right during exam day obviously keep yourself focused you know uh, motivate yourself and uh, don't worry you will not forget everything uh, when you see the paper if you at starting you get to see some difficult questions please don't be nervous there will be easier questions as well all right so go through the whole paper in the given starting time easy questions may uh, be one more thing guys please don't make any silly mistakes because we tend to make silly mistakes in the easier questions so be very conscious all right and keep calm rock the examinations theek okay? hai so do not start uh, today start now no procrastinating theek okay? hai not tomorrow not day after tomorrow start now now always now all right so this is all guys and yes these are all like general tips and tricks but um, in the pressure of examinations what happen is many times students tends to do those mistakes which they already know right so with this session i just wanted to come and talk to you uh, for a little time and yes just to say that all the best guys for your examinations hai na uh, you guys are going to do well uh, i have full trust on you i have full uh, faith on you i have full hope on you all right so do well and uh, don't worry you guys will do amazing and if the uh, like like just focus on the exam whatever the result be you guys will always be the champions right okay so thank you so much guys for joining the session please don't forget to like this video share the video with your friends subscribe to the channel if you are new over here i'll see you all in the next class till then bye bye sayonara khuda hafiz to all of you bye bye guys bachcho ke marks jitne kam aate hain papa ka volume utna hi badh jata hai ye hoti hai padhai par kabhi socha hai ki marks badhane ki zimmedari sirf bachcho ki hi kyun ab vedant to marks badhane ki zimmedari lega warna aapki puri fees wapas